Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about punishment in kindergarten poem as written by Kamala Das. Now let us see the poem. Kamala Das was born in Kerala, India in 1934. She was educated mainly at home. Her short stories and poems are written in Malayalam and in English. She has published a number of books of poems and an autobiography. In many of her poems Kamala Das recalls experience from her childhood. She was very devoted to the home and the surroundings which she grew up in. However, in this poem she remembers an incident which caused her not joy but pain. Now in adulthood she can look back on that day of punishment detaching herself from the pain. Seems not part of it any more. She has found an adult peace with which she can speak about the incident without becoming absurd. When she is describing the time spent at the kindergarten, the past tense is used. But when the poet is speaking about herself as an adult, she uses the present tense. Punishment in Kindergarten is a little autobiographical poem by the famous Indo-Anglican poet Kamala Das. She recalls one of her childhood experiences. When she was in the kindergarten, one day the children were taken for a picnic. All the children except her were playing and making merry. but she alone kept away from the company of the children the teacher a blue frogged woman scolded her saying why don't you join the others what a peculiar child you are this heard all the other children who were sipping sugar cane turned and laughed the child felt it very much she became sad at the words of the teacher but the laughter by the children made her sadder she thought that they should have consoled her rather than laughing and insulting her filled with sorrow and shame she did her face in a hedge and wept this was indeed a painful experience to a little child in the nursery school now after many years she has grown into an adult she has only a faint memory of the blue frogged women and the laughing faces of the children now she has learned to have an adult peace and happiness in her present state as grown up person Now there is no need for her to be perturbed about the Peter Kindergarten experience with her long experience in life she has learned that life is a mixture of joy and sorrow she remembers how she has experienced both the joy and the sorrow of life the long passage of time has taught her many things She is no more a lonely individual as she used to feel when she was a child. The poet comes to a conclusion that there is no need for her to remember that picnic day when she hid her face in the hedge watching the still white sun that was standing lonely in the sky. The poem is written in three stanzas. each having different number of lines the first with seven lines the second with six and the third with nine the poem does not follow any regular rhyme scheme the subject matter of the poem has two parts the first of which being the descriptions of the painful experience of the kindergarten days and the second the adult's attitude to the incident at present when she is no more a child the poet seems to be nostalgic about her childhood days there are certain experiences 
in the poem that are worth remembering the poet says that the child buried its face in the hedge and smelled the flowers and the pain smell the flowers can be taken as an ordinary expression but smell the pain is smooth something very evocative and expressive in the first stanza of the poem the poet describes the pain caused to the child throwing words like pots and pans this again is beautiful the phrase is used by the poet to describe the child's teacher namely blue frogged women can be justified from the child's point of view on the whole the poem can be taken as the poet's interest in remembering her childhood days